what is up guys welcome back to the channel boy is outside right now using one of my birthday gifts that i actually didn't get to show you in the last vlog i'm out here just trying to get content for my instagram but amber actually got me this new cool toy so i've been using this little guy right here so as you guys can see this is what i'm taking my instagram pictures off of it's like this sick tripod to stay up to date with my instagram so that's what I'm doing right now before I continue with the rest of my errand. Probably gonna see one of the photos I end up going with from this little shoot that I'm doing for myself. I'm gonna keep getting some new content for Instagram. And if you guys aren't following me already, it's at ariel.rosado29 for daily fit posts. And you know that I already got the heat guys, so definitely check me out on IG. Yeah, I'm gonna get into it. I'll probably show you some behind the scenes clips of me taking these photos. And then we're gonna hop into the rest of this vlog. So let's get it. Also, while I'm at it, might as well tell you guys what I'm wearing. My extremely rare multi-zip gray hoodie. This is the first edition one. It's like very, very limited. Um, I'm wearing a vintage Ralph Lauren rugby t-shirt. Have it inside out. Actually got this when I was back in high school and it's just like broken into perfection. On my eyes, I'm wearing my Saint Laurent D-frame sunglasses. I am wearing Koopal's leather jeans. Love these. Leathers held up for years and they just keep getting better with age. I'm wearing my Balmain suede ranger boots. So you guys will definitely be seeing an Instagram picture go up if it's not up already, but this is my fit for today. And on top, I'm also wearing this Celine distressed jean jacket. But right now I'm doing different shots. So I took it off for the shot that I was doing. So I'm gonna jump back into taking my pictures and We'll continue with this vlog, people. Damn, I just dropped a new iPhone. How I seem to get back to the casa, I forget to film for you guys. And I forget to film for you guys, and then it ends up being a new day. So yesterday, filming a little bit for, hold up. So yesterday I was filming a little behind the scenes action of how I take my Instagram pictures because as I've been telling you guys, I'm trying to stay up to date with all my social medias. And since I have all this new equipment, I figured why not? I could see it. So you could see everything. Clearly, I take all these pictures super clear and crisp and it's like, it makes our Instagram posts way easier. So I was doing a little bit of that, but I forgot to film when I came back home. So I'm gonna be making a conscious effort of filming every single thing. Anyways, it's a new day and got the new iPhone. Bam, wham, bam. The crazy camera. So now Instagram pictures are gonna be even easier. My story is gonna be better and my camera quality is gonna be blurry because I was using a seven plus for like the last four years, five years. I don't know how long it was, but quality wise, it just wasn't, it wasn't hitting how I needed it to hit. And now I feel like with this phone, this upgrade, it's going to be doing exactly what I need. And so far, so good. Definitely like a new adjustment. You guys are probably like cringing at home. You're like, oh, did you have a 7 Plus for so long? Well, sometimes certain things I just feel like aren't a necessity at that moment. And I felt like my iPhone wasn't broken or anything. So one year turned into two, two turned into three. And yeah. Here we are in 2020, where I finally got an up-to-date iPhone. Last song I was listening to, rest in peace. Um, yeah, just got out the shower. Four years old, come say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say what up, what up YouTube fam? What up? Anyways, I am going through some of your guys' comments on YouTube, catching up. Know that I respond to everything that you guys write to me. If it's disrespectful, I delete it. If it's a dope question, I get back to it as fast as I can, as well as private DMs on Instagram. So feel free to reach out to me at any time and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Follow me on IG, it's at Ariel.Rosado29 for everybody who hasn't already followed. Appreciate it on your end. If, since you like this content so much, if you guys could hit that subscribe button. Before I leave the house and get dressed for my day, 
Today I am broke. This one's very oversized and cozy. It's like a big old blanket on your boy. This one's actually from UGG. I'll link it in the description box below for anybody who wants a cozy oversized robe. It's very, very warm. It's literally like a blanket. You could jump in bed with this thing and just be super cozy. So that's what I'm wearing today before I actually get dressed. I'm gonna go throw on my outfit after I respond to everybody's messages and DMs on YouTube. I just wanted to do a little morning PSA because I feel like I always slack on this part. So I'm gonna go get dressed real quick and then we're gonna carry on with the day. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I actually already drove to Brooklyn. I forgot to film while I was driving, but I'm gonna actually take you guys today. I am linking up with Amber's sister today. We're gonna go vintage shopping at one of my favorite L Train Vintage and a couple other spots out here in Brooklyn. So I'm gonna mask up, get my jacket on, and then we're gonna hit the ground running and go see if I could find some vintage rare with just grill pieces for my wardrobe and I hope I'm not looking crusty. So I'm gonna put this up because I don't have chapstick on. Get into that now, guys. Let me just turn the car off and get ready. So tune back in in a second. Pew. So tightening. we're inside of L Train Vintage trying to film and also browse. So I'm just gonna show you guys how organized they are. It's amazing. So the vintage selection is super, super vast. If you guys do get a chance to come to New York, to Brooklyn, you guys definitely check it out. There, say what up. Bye. People, I'm gonna go browse. I'll show you my selections if I find anything good at the end. All right guys, so I'm back in the house right now. I'm actually in what's going to be my new office space. It's still not done yet, so I'm not gonna show you fully. It's still kind of a little bit messy. I did do some pickups. I got some great pickups. It's not a lot, but I found one item for myself and then one item for Amber. So I'm gonna break down what I wore today and I'll include a picture for my Instagram on the side. What I wore today was this Alexander Wang black burnout t-shirt. Love this t-shirt, it's very comfortable. Wearing my St. Laurent Bolo hoodie in black and I was wearing my Celine Teddy jacket. Also wearing, pardon the floor, the floor is getting redone. I was wearing my Celine Triumph sneakers. Phone call guys, be right back. I'm filming a video, say hello to YouTube. Oh, no. I don't have anything makeup on. Okay. Hi, oh. YouTube. Say, say it again. Hi, YouTube. All right, guys. So I'm about to unbag and reveal my two pickups from L Train Vintage today. Let's jump into that right now. This is one of the finds that I actually found, and it actually fits both me and Amber. It's a size medium. This stuff does run a little bit larger since it's army fit and it's vintage. I just really love the patches that came on it and these are like legit old vintage patches from back in whatever army or whatever war this was from. I just thought it was very very cool and would look sick with any of the stuff that me or Amber wears. Amber's gonna get a little bit more use out of this just because the arms are a little bit I'll try it on and I'll show you guys what it fits me like, but it's her arms a little bit better. But yeah, I just really love this wolf patch. I really thought that that was kind of sick. And the condition for its vintage age is awesome. And then only 10 bucks. So that would be the first pickup I did. And this bad boy right here would be the gem that I actually found for myself. And literally I got so lucky as I was heading out of l -Train because I had only found that camouflage jacket for me and Amber, as I was saying. I literally caught this out the side of my eye and I fell in love with it and I was like, damn, that's sick. And it looked like my size. So I threw it on and it fit like, literally snug like a glove, perfect fit. I'm gonna show you a picture that I already did a fit pick with on Instagram. I'll put it, I'll include it here. Let's move out of the screen so I can put it here. As well as I'll put some on body clips of me styling it real quick. The leather's in amazing shape. Let me just turn it around. I wanna show you guys all the details of it. It's like a creamish, like dirty, dirty white leather. Definitely has some age to it, but no rips, no tears in the leather. It's 
such a really thick but nice leather. I believe it might be, I think it might be horse leather. Super, super thick, super durable. I don't even know what brand this is. If anybody knows definitely like what vintage brand this is, just drop me a link or some type of uh, place where I could find it and read up on it. Cause I'm really, really super interested in what brand this is, but I just love the detailing all over it. All the pockets it has, it has pocket here, zip pocket over here. I really love this like holster looking pocket. I think that this is really sick. Another pocket here, two on the outside, this pocket, which I think is sick. I could just slide my cell phone in here. And then this is also one more concealed pocket. Cafe style racer jacket. I love this. Definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. Really love the inside red lining. I thought that that was beautiful. And I love the fact that it has no tears. It's literally an amazing vintage shape. So. I'm gonna show you guys on body clips of it. This only cost me 20 bucks. I ripped the tag off, but $20 L train. Definitely check them out, guys. They're awesome for legit, really good vintage finds and for amazing prices. So definitely check them out. But yeah, let's jump into some on body clips and wrap this vlog up.